Uh, another pitfall you mentioned in your talk, Tim, was uh, – well, you solve it with this concept of, of DRY, uh, D-R-Y, the acronym. Yeah. Would you explain the pitfall and then what DRY is all about and how that makes my life better? Yes. So this is a, a pitfall from the coding side of the house versus the infrastructure side of the house. Uh, DRY is a methodology from programming development called Don't Repeat Yourself. And it's essentially creating smaller, more repeatable code. With infrastructure as code, you can actually, if you have, you know, so let's say you have your infrastructure and you have everything built, but you have multiple versions. You have production, you have staging, you have testing, you have QA, you have all the things. Well, if you build your code with all of these values written into there, like hard-coded values of this is the name of my database, this is the IP range, this is the VPC it connects to, then you can't use that code again for staging or for any other environments. You have to have multiple copies of the same code. With the dry methodology, you essentially are writing, you know, you can go down and it gives you the ability to say, instead of putting in that name, make that a variable call and then inject that variable in during deployment saying, hey, since this is my production deployment, this is the production name for that or what have you. And that way you're only managing one set of code for all of these different environments, because if you have five different sets of code for this, you know, for the same build in different environments, if you have to update that code, you got to go and update five copies of that same code. If that's how you want to do it, cool. Using dry, it'll kind of allow you to build that methodology down a little more um, so that you only have one set of code to do. And you can actually take that a step farther with things like, you know, Terraform modules or, you know, creating Pulumi modules you're actually breaking your code up even farther into more manageable bits. Like instead of having your VPCs and your EC2 instances and your RDS instances and your, you know, IAM policies and everything all in the same files, you break those up into modules so that say, I know I'm going to use my VPC across 20 different environments. Great. Manage one VPC code and use it on those 20 environments. Um, so it just allows you to have little smaller chunks that you can reuse yeah, which can be a change of thinking for an infrastructure professional that's used to doing some oh, long yeah. linear process to deploy <laughs> some complex set of infrastructure. Um, yep. They have a playbook or they have some process they follow. Okay, now I got to break this all up modularity so I can snap together a process that's more like Lego bricks. And then the next time right. I've got to fix the thing, I've only got to fix the thing in this one place. And then the eight other places that call that one place are already fixed for me. Yep. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely it's it's a different thinking from an infrastructure perspective, but it's also at a, a place where a lot of infrastructure folks were trying to get. Um, you know, way back when I was an engineer and I was working, you know, with customers, we had I was a VMware infrastructure engineer specifically, and we had vRealize automation, and we were trying to build reusable templates of the deployment uh, architecture so that we could essentially just say, hey, we need a new you know, development environment, hit the button, it spins everything out and you're good to go. It's the same kind of thing. You're trying to create a more repeatable process, but instead of creating these giant templates you know, or what have you, you're just creating smaller bits of code that you can spin out when you need it. Do I have to dry my code by hand or is there a, some a tool out there's always a tool is there some tool or tools out there that'll help <laughs> dry my code for me yeah usually there's um there's some tools out there they may not be perfect they may miss some things they may screw some things up um so it'll take a little bit of manual intervention um a lot of folks that are starting from scratch it's easier just to kind of write dry code from the beginning yeah um so, but yeah, yeah if, no, if you've no one's starting from the beginning, Tim. No <laughs> yeah, <one. laughs> of course. If you have code out there, of course, there are some tools out there. I have not personally used one for that. Mm. Um, but I mean, things like Terraform kind of make it a little easy to pull certain things out and make variables and then make a variable file out of that. Um, so I've seen it mostly just done by hand, but you know, it all depends.